When NBC decided to create a spin-off from their hit series The Blacklist, they had the perfect star in mind to headline the series, Famke Janssen. After making a debut in the show's third season, her character Susan Hargrave became the focus of The Blacklist Redemption. If you think you recognize her from somewhere, it's probably because you've seen Janssen in one of her dozens of film and television roles. Here's why Susan from The Blacklist looks so familiar. GoldenEye Janssen got her start as a model in the late 80s, but in the early 90s, she decided to transition to acting. She soon landed small roles on shows like Star Trek The Next Generation and in films such as Father and Sons. But her big break came in the 1995 James Bond film Goldeneye, where she played the sinister Russian agent Xenia Onotop. Xenia Sergeyevna Onotop. Onotop? Onotop. The character has become a fan favorite, consistently ranking among the best Bond girls ever. House on Haunted Hill Following the success of GoldenEye, Janssen was offered a number of roles. One of the most high-profile was opposite Jeffrey Rush. As one half of the eccentric couple running the show in the 1999 horror remake House on Haunted Hill, the flick was a critical punching bag, but has become a bit of a cult favorite anyway. X-Men no matter what Jansan does in her career, there are many fans who will always see her as Jean Grey from 20th Century Fox's X-Men franchise. Since 2000, Jansan has played the redhead mutant psychic multiple times, including the original X-Men, X2, X-Men United in 2003, and X-Men The Last Stand in 2006, where she was killed off. She later appeared in 2013's The Wolverine as a figment of Logan's tortured imagination. But thanks to some time travel shenanigans, she was returned to life for realsies in 2014's X-Men Days of Future Past. Nip Tuck a year after X2 hit theaters, Janssen landed a recurring role in the second season of FX's medical drama Nip Tuck. The primary antagonist of that season, transgender life coach Ava Moore, became a key recurring character, returning in season 6 for a major arc. Hide and Seek one of Janssen's stranger roles was in the psychological thriller Hide and Seek, where she played opposite Robert De Niro. Her part as family friend Dr. Catherine Carson wasn't large, but she figured prominently in each of the film's five different endings, and you thought the X-Men movies were hard to keep straight. Taken 20th Century Fox apparently didn't want to let go of Janssen following the original X-Men trilogy's conclusion, so they cast her as Lenore Lenny Mills in their Taken series. In 2008, she played the wife of Liam Neeson's Brian Mills, whose daughter is taken captive. Bad move, fools. Are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. In 2012, she returned in a larger role, this time the victim of a revenge kidnapping. Neeson, of course, saves her too. Too bad he couldn't get the job done in 2015's Taken 3, where it's her life that gets taken at the start of the film. One of these days, one of Jansen's characters will eventually survive a trilogy. Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters in between Taken installments, Jansen starred as the sinister Grand Witch Muriel in 2013's Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, a reimagining of the classic fairy tale. The film wasn't exactly a critical favorite, but it did well enough at the box office to warrant a sequel. Whether or not Jansen will be involved hasn't been announced yet. Even though her character died, don't count her out. Hemlock Grove in 2013, Janssen shifted away from movies and back into television in a big way, starring in a leading role in the groundbreaking Netflix series Hemlock Grove, which was one of the first digitally streamed shows to ever receive an Emmy nomination. She played Olivia Godfrey, head of the sinister Godfrey Institute for Biomedical Technologies, for all three seasons before the show ended in 2015. Yuck. How to get away with murder. Before landing the lead role in Blacklist Redemption, Jansen took another juicy role in the hit series How to Get Away with Murder, playing attorney Eve Rothlow, a former friend and lover of Viola Davis's lead character, Annalise Keating. Still smarting from their breakup years ago, Eve finally got over Annalise in season 3 and walked away. Whether or not she ever returns may depend on how long the Blacklist Redemption stays on the air. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.